East of Breeze I-1500 versus the East of Breeze Healy 2.0. Now I've just now switched these over and it was in a bit of a gust. Uh, but so I mean they, they started up pretty strong. The Healy peaked a little over 2000 watts. The I-1500 just under 1500. I'm going to come back to this here in a little while. What I have done is I've put these both on the same circuit. They are going to the same 48 volt battery bank. They're under the exact same load, uh, which is these four batteries and 2,000 watt grid tie inverters. And uh, we're going to see how they do. Now I'm going to say right away, this is going to be noisy. Now whenever I had these both running, or not both, whenever I had the I-1500 running on the 24 volt circuit, it wasn't running near as fast, it wasn't making near as much noise. That I-1500 is usually very quiet. So 48 volts, it gets really moving and it starts making some noise. I like it better at 24 or 36, but we're going to let it run for the evening and see how they do. Three hours, and uh, I did step out here just a minute ago. I wanted to film this, but uh, my battery was dead. And I had to go ahead and disconnect these. My uh, the uh, voltage going through these was definitely a little bit more than they were they were up for. I got very melty, <laughs> and uh, you know it's it's still switching. I actually need to go ahead and just disconnect that. But even though it looks like that, it's still switching on and off. Now, as far as peaks, now th this is, I, I, I'm not I wasn't really set up to where I could uh, measure overall output while we were gone. So we're just looking at peaks. We're going to look at the I-1500 first. It has peaked at 1560. 26.73 amps. The I-1500, not I-15, I'm sorry, the Healy has peaked at 2450. And 55.44 amps. So as far as amps and watts go, this thing, the, the Healy has definitely peaked way higher. Uh, I think the most I've ever seen out of uh, the I-1500 is a little over 2,000 watts, whereas this one's already gone quite a ways past that. Now, this is the, the thing though, right now, the I-1500 is out there making 250 watts on and off. You know, it's still cranking something out. Whereas the Healy is, is not. Whenever real wind comes along this Healy really cranks out a lot of power. But the I-1500 is it's always making a little. Um, now, uh, the I-1500 is actually straight downstream of the Healy right now, so it should be getting dirty wind, and it's still, you know, making a little bit of, you know, a little bit of power pretty much all the time. Now, this is, these things, the watt hours reset like every thousand watts. That doesn't take a long time, but the amp hours takes a while for that to, to, to roll over. We'll wait around and get back to this one. Amp hour 
versus 4.45 on this one. We'll wait for it to come back around. I don't know if I got that on screen. Four point four five three. So really high wattage peak, really high amperage peak, but this one has made a lot more power over that same amount of time. I still think, and I, this is I, all the little groups and forums that a lot of people ask what to look for, and of all the different turbines that I've messed with, I. I still think the, this Easter Breeze I-1500 is probably the best bang for the buck out there as far as, you know, consumer grade straight off the shelf turbines. You can make something that's going to perform better. And I think that for your money, that's the only way you're going to get something that does better than the I-1500 is if you build it yourself. Uh, I'm still hoping that with a little bit of time, this Healy will loosen up and it will start building up power, you know, better. But we gotta wait and see how that does. As of right now, it's uh, I mean, it's. I don't know if that's really gonna show very well. I mean, it's. It's turning nicely. The wind is not pushing it real hard right now, so I really don't expect a whole lot from it. A lot of the noise we're hearing is coming from the I-1500. It's flopping around a lot, and I think that the biggest reason why it is flopping around is because it's almost straight downwind of uh, the Healy. And it's also running a lot faster than what I usually have it have it going. I, I, I've always had the I-1500 on a 36 volt bank and uh, for the last couple of weeks it's been running on a 24 volt bank. It's been doing really well on 24 and it did really well on 36. And I mean it's still doing you know pretty good on a 48 volt bank. It's just, it's just really moving. We're just going to hold this on for just a moment. And see if we can catch any of the bursts off of the Healy. It's like whenever the Healy starts making power, it jumps up 400, 500 watts. It just doesn't seem to hold it for very long. And all the wind just died. <laughs> well, here it comes. Enough to get 200 watts. And just a uh, Remind, this is the I-1500, this is the Healy. I guess neither one of them is going to do anything impressive right now. Oh, well, well, that's that. Now, I can't say that uh, everything is running a lot better than what it was earlier. I did, uh, I put the, the Healy and the I-1500 on the 48 volt bank down here. I put uh, the 400 and the 700 are the only ones going to these batteries. 
and they do seem to be doing a lot better that way. That 700 watt turbine has been making 40 or 50 watts basically the entire time. It's struggling to get much higher. Like I've, I've seen that one getting up close to 1100 or 1200 watts, but uh, it doesn't like the direction of the wind today. The 400 watt turbine's doing pretty well too. And they're together, they're doing better on this 24 volt bank by themselves. My inverters are still kicking out 500 to 600 watts. Let's see, our total so far today has been 10.1 kilowatt hours. All right, our wind's coming back. And you see the I-1500 kicked up there close to 550, 600 watts. The Healy jumped up to 150 and went away. See what I mean? It, it jumps up there 600, 700 watts. I'm actually wondering if... Uh, that wind's hitting it if it's tilting up out of the wind. We're gonna walk out. It's gonna be real windy. We're going to try to get beside it and see if uh, it's angling back. Well, I guess that's probably part of it. As soon as that thing starts uh, building up any speed, you, standing out there beside it, you could hear it whenever it was really spooling up. As soon as it does, it tilts back. I don't know, I may rearrange this back into a 36 volt bank and see if it does any better with the brakes on. I mean, that definitely built up a lot of power, but I don't know. We'll leave it the way it is, I guess, for now, and play with it and see what happens. Anyway, that's it for this evening. Uh, as always, if, uh, if you find this stuff interesting, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. It helps me out. You'll get updates for new videos, and uh, got any comments, questions, things you'd like to see, or things you'd like to know, feel free to post below and have a wonderful evening. Good night, guys.